everybody. Hope you're keeping safe and well. Tonight's bedtime story is going to be read by me, Miss Martin, and Christopher and Oliver. Oh. Say hello. Oh, yeah, good boys. Okay, hello. So, tonight's bedtime story is called The Bola Bear That Saved Christmas. Okay, let's have a read, shall we? One Christmas Eve, in a den in the snow, a polar bear slept and so didn't know that her cub was awake. Pip could not rest. He was excited for Christmas, the day he loved best. In the distance, Pip heard a jingling sound. He jumped up and popped his head above ground. Pressed in the snow, he saw tracks lead away. He said to himself, it must be a sleigh. Pip walked through the snow till the jingling was gone. Alone in the cold, he soon missed his mum. Fresh snow hid his paw prints and covered his tracks. With no path to follow, would he find his way back? But then the snow stopped and a blaze of bright light led Pip to a strange and magical sight. There were warm, cosy houses and elves everywhere. Hope lifted the heart of the cold polar bear. Pip peered through a window as he heard a loud wail. Dancer's broken her leg! Who will take Santa's mail? Inside was a sleigh filled with fine toys and treats. Nearby, an elf shouted and stamped his small feet. The reindeer were worried. They felt at a loss. The elf looked around and said, getting cross, We have seven reindeer, but our sleigh needs eight. If we wait for Dancer, it will be too late. As they pulled out the sleigh, the elves made a fuss. What could they do to save this Christmas? An elf soon saw Pip and said, Don't be shy. Can you pull the sleigh? But Pip said, I can't fly. The elf said, don't worry, and put Pip in the line. With your help, we'll certainly make it on time. They sprinkled some sparkles and Pip gave a sneeze. He felt brave and knew it was now time to leave. Santa jumped on and took hold of the reins. The reindeer leapt forward, so Pip did the same. The earth fell away as the huge sleigh took flight and Pip and the reindeer flew off into the night. They leapt across rooftops, delivering toys to the homes of all the young girls and boys. In bed, sound asleep, no child was aware that Santa's new helper was a small polar bear. Pip and the reindeer worked hard through the night, delivering joy on their magical flight. The sleigh headed home when each gift was gone, and though Pip was tired, they all cheered him on. Then Pip saw his den, such a wonderful sight. He slipped from the reins and took one final flight. Cosy and warm in the snow so deep, curled up in his bed, Pip fell straight to sleep. Early next morning, no tracks could be seen. Pip looked around. Had it all been a dream? But in the snow lay a note and a shiny sleigh bell. For the bear who saved Christmas, Santa wishes you well. Oh, I hope you enjoyed tonight's bedtime story as much as we did. And we hope you keep safe and well and have a lovely Christmas. Say happy Christmas, Chris Rita, say bye. Come this way. Say bye. Happy Christmas. Bye. Missy Sue. Missy Sue, good boy. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>